It's the Insane Gamers, and welcome back to more Pokemon Black and White Random Wi-Fi. Uh, a couple of you have asked for normal Wi-Fi battles again. Well, I will get back to those when Smogon releases the tiers. But until Smogon releases the tiers, I don't really want to do them because it's just... You know, I'm, t I'm tired of Latios and Rapush, and I just want to get to the UU, you know? Anyhow, so in this episode, I actually get to completely destroy somebody with a Sunflora. It was the most epic thing ever. So anyway, Clink Clang, which is a weird name for that, and Vanillux, which is a weird Pokemon in general. I don't like it because it's just, it's an ice cream cone. It's just stupid, okay? I just don't like it. Anyway, so, um, <clears throat> I didn't protect the Sunflora because I was like, I can get a, an Earth Power off on that Clink Clang, and uh, I've got a Focus Sash on Sunflora because I also have the move Endeavor on it. So, um, anyway, um, it's got Protect, Leaf Storm, Earth Power, and Endeavor. So, he went for the gear change. That's gonna completely screw him over because I'm setting up a trick room. Uh, Vanillox goes for a blizzard, and Sunflora actually avoids it, so that, uh, keeps my Focus Sash in play for one more turn. That's epic. Oh, and I, uh, by the way, I changed around Masharna's EV spread a little bit. It's slightly more defensive, and slightly less special attack orientated and special defense orientated. So, anyway, Earth Power goes off and it almost kills it. It's just like so freaking close and I get a special defense drop and I'm like, wow, thanks for not helping me at all with that. So, um, anyway, up goes the Trick Room and now I'm faster than everything as I'm a freaking flower thing. Um, uh, yeah, so, um, <clears throat> Musharna, I'm just gonna have it Psychic, the Vanillox, I don't really know how much it's gonna do, I mean, I know that thing can, can be pretty bulky, and it doesn't take it well at all, I was, I was expecting it to do, like, under half, but, anyway, Earth Power, finish off that thing, um, it wasn't really a threat from the beginning, it's just nice to get it out of the way, so, and, um, what was I about to say? Something about, uh, something about something. I don't even remember anymore, so let's just talk about Blizzard! What do you think you are? Am I a bomb of snow? Uh, so anyway, yeah, it goes for Blizzard and actually hits this time, and surprisingly, it doesn't bring me down to my sash! What the frick? I don't know why it didn't bring me down to my sash, because there's no reason it shouldn't have. I'm not defensive at all. Well, I have max HP, but that still shouldn't really matter. Oh well, out comes a Samurott, and I'm like, lol, that is gonna get destroyed by a little sunflower thing with a happy face. I am glad you sent that out, so now I can demonstrate Sunflora's epic move, Leaf Storm Go! I was actually surprised to uh, learn it can learn Leaf Storm. I didn't know it could get that. Um, you know, obviously the next step down is Energy Ball, so I just went for all the power I could possibly get. Look how much that did. Bam! Good out get out of here, Samurott. Okay, so uh, he's only got one Pokemon left, so Sunflora is being a, a total beast right now. I mean, it's just making this person cower in fear. It's just, so, like, pounding the crap out of them, making them, you know, submit to... My sunflower happy face. Anyway, out comes a Landris, and I was like, you know, I could just kill it, or I could screw around. So I just thought, yeah, screwing around seems like a good idea. Let's Helping Hand. Uh, I got rid of Charge Beam and put Helping Hand on instead. Let's see how much uh, a minus two Helping Hand Leaf Storm does to this thing, because I know they're not exactly bulky, but geez, it didn't take it well at all. For minus two coming from a sunflower, yes, I had a little bit of a boost, but still. Jesus, that did a lot of damage for what that is. Oh, and also Musharn is epic because it doesn't die. <laughs> it didn't die. What a beast. I know I said I gave it more defense, but it's still, you know, that's pretty impressive to live that. Especially at that, that low amount of health. So anyway, out comes my Daikenki now, and I can just Ice Beam or whatever, but I just said, hey Musharna, y you deserve to finish this, so do it. Energy Ball. And that's about it, really. Uh, yeah, Landris faints. I hate that thing! It's so ugly! It's like a genie! I don't even know! I don't like that Pokémon at all. Anyway, on to the second battle now, as soon as the thing switches over. The next battle was kind of awesome, because it was actually a Japanese person, and they were actually smart! They knew what they were doing! Definitely a rarity for random Wi-Fi. And they had a mono-normal team! That's the most awesome thing ever! normal type for the win, by the way. 
Anyhow, I'm going out with Musharna and uh, Marowak. Now, I didn't leave Berserzukin because I didn't, because I was thinking he would think that I would lead it with it, and he would just counter it right, right away. So I wanted to take out the counter for Zerzukin. Uh, so it says that a Smeargle, and the first thing that's going through my head was freaking Dark Void, because that's what Japanese noobs like to do. Um, but anyway, he fakes out Marowak, and I'm like, yeah, he's definitely gonna Dark Void me. And then he taunts me, and I'm like, okay, well, that's different. Anyway, I can't set up Trick Room now, so that sucks. Mishana has a Lumberry, so it doesn't care about sleep or anything, really. Um, because I know that a lot of people like to sleep this thing, because obviously you, you're not gonna one-hit KO it with anything that's short of, like, plus six freaking crunch from a Sazandora. Um, anyhow, switches out, uh, the... Smeargle, and sends in his Togekiss now. Now, I have a reason to believe that Smeargle's Scarf, but I'll get to that in a minute. Anyway, uh, he goes for a turn on my Marowak, and Marowak has quite a bit of defensive investment, so it takes it fairly nicely, I, I have to say. That was pretty good. I went for the EQ. This is a thick club, by the way, just so you know. I mean, this... There's not really much else you can do with Marowak. It has Earthquake, Double Edge, Bone Meringue, and Protect. I have both Earthquake and Bone Meringue because I need Earthquake, but I wanted Bone Meringue. So I was like, uh, well, let's just have both of them. I mean, the other choice was Aerial Ace, and honestly, there's not a whole lot that can resist both Ground and Normal. So, and Double Edge is just uber powerful because I've got Rock Head. So, anyway, go for a Psychic. I uh, didn't think he would switch. I thought he had a Sash, so I... Uh, just psychic, and hey, it worked out well. I came with Toji Kiss, takes a light, nice little bit of damage there. This turn really sucked because he gets critical hit, sucker punch, and Mishana lives because it's epic, but it doesn't live well enough. Uh, yeah, critical hit. You suck, man. And Toji Kiss goes for Shadow Ball and finishes off my Mushi. It sucks. It's the first time it's died on camera. It's it's <sighs> that makes me depressed. Sorry, Misharna, you're, you're, you're epic, but, you know, you can't do anything against hacks. I definitely would have not died there if he hadn't got that crit, because that Shadow Ball would have, would not be doing very much damage. Anyway, I want to get this Tochikis out of here, because I've got my Zerzukin, and I think I have Pidgeot with me, I believe. Um, anyhow, no, I don't, I have Samurott, never mind, Pidgeot was the last battle. Uh, so, anyway, in comes Urzuka, I'm just gonna fake out and double-edge this, uh, yeah, I'm gonna waste a double-edge on this guy, but I really, really wanna take it out, because if I can get rid of it, then, you know, hopefully he doesn't have anything else that can counter my, uh, Zerizukin. Anyway, goes for a return, and I just about live it! I was so surprised, I thought I was dead, and I was like, oh, well, this battle's over, I've lost. But, yeah, Marowak is, like, got the freaking fighting spirit going on, so it's, like, not gonna die, and... Goodbye, Toji Kiss. That was so awesome. That was that was e excellent job, Marowak. By the way, Marowak is replacing uh, Golurk, who doesn't go on random Wi-Fi because its Dream World ability hasn't been released yet. So that's why it wasn't getting on. Anyway, I protect with Marowak because I was thinking that he would or his. Um, Kangaskhan would probably sucker punch me or something, and I just wanted to basically waste the Kangaskhan's time, you know, as you do. So he does, and, um, yeah, Smeargle uses D-Bond, which is a little bit weird. So here I'm thinking, uh, well, he might just be doing that because he can, uh, but he spams that one move for the whole rest of the match, so yeah, I think that Smeargle is actually choice scarfed. Anyway, uh, high jump kick that K-Con. Yes, I'm calling it that. No, it's not a Kangaskhan. It's like Japanese squiggly lines or whatever. Who knows? Anyway, there's my overconfidence boost, or Moxie. But Moxie's stupid. Overconfidence is better. So I've got plus one now, which is awesome. So we'll see what he's going to send in. And what else? Is, what would it be except for freaking Licky Licky? Oh my god, Licky Licky's so awesome. I love that Pokemon. Anyway, um... This Licky Licky really surprised me, so yeah, there goes Destiny Bond again, so, uh, either he's just spamming it because he can, or he's scarfed. Anywho, um, I'm just gonna go for a high jump kick on this Licky Licky, and I actually outsped it, so, either it has an Iron Ball, and he, and he likes to fling it, or something, he might have, like, Gyro Ball, and an Iron Ball, and Fling, or something, or maybe he's just, um, you know, Counter Trick Room. Or something like that. A anyway, I miss, which is total BS. And I hurt myself, which is, again, total BS. So Marowak dies. Marowak was aiming a bone meringue at that, um, freaking, um, 
the little dog thing with the paintbrush, which you can't remember the name of, Smeargle, there we go. Yeah, Marowak was about to own that Smeargle, but whatever. So I still got my Samurott left, and uh, this guy knows he can't win now because I outspeed his Licky Licky, so I think he just gives up this turn, which was, you know, a rightful give up. I mean, there's really no way he could have won. So anyway, I am basically done with that Caracosta team, so hopefully next episode we'll have some epic Caracosta action. So I will see you guys next time.